and we're back with Ben 10 Ultimate Alien, this time season 3, episode 13. We are going to, uh, first, what happened last week, uh, it was the Inspector 13 episode where we finally wrapped up the lingering plot thread of the Tekadon factory sitting in the middle of the city that no one was able to move and Inspector, uh, uh, I think it was Inspector 13, uh, I didn't write his name down but I think it was. Yeah, Inspector 13, that's who it was, and yeah, he was after the Ultimatrix, I mean, who isn't? Because they wanted to use it to improve their own weapons, because they are the weapons masters of the Tekadons, and yeah, they just want the, they just want the Ultimatrix, who doesn't? Uh, basically, what Vilgax wanted, they wanted to create an army of an army of Ultimatrixes. Yeah, it's basically what Vilgax wanted, original Vilgax wanted. So, yeah. Uh, the two episodes before that were on complete fire with the Sir George and the Dagon and Vilgax and everything and the backstory of Asmuth. Yeah, those two episodes were completely on fire. So yeah, we're gonna think we're gonna find out today if this episode can live up to the hype that the previous episodes did. So yeah, let's just get into it. So let's just get into season three, episode thirteen of Ben 10 Ultimate Alien, starting right now. Whoa, what the hell is the the lucky girl outfit? Is this just a signing books out of the library? Is this how she gets her magic? At long last, I caught the little bookworm who's been stealing from my library. He makes the sphere more powerful. X. What I'm saying is, you're about to face a final crushing defeat. Ooh. I haven't seen Hex in a while. Engagement with aggregate. <laughs> Charmcaster, who always tries to kill you, Charmcaster. You think you owe her a favor? Adwecha is an evil, oppressive dictator. Don't we have a moral obligation to help fight him? Yes. <laughs> uh oh. I'll go fire up the rest for you. I was about to say, uh, an interaction with Hex that wasn't completely hostile. Oh, oh, is it working? We're going back, and we're back. They're back. Oh, no, 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 bad idea, bad idea. Don't. Oh my god, that's. <laughs> Kevin's just getting dragged. Oh! How is Gwen not getting thrown about the place as well? I am Ignatius, the scribe. At least, I was the scribe. Okay. Long several months ago, I went to simply disappeared. Probably after Avrigor took the room. But with that witch gone, everyone was free, right? Indeed. Free to pursue the throne themselves. Ooh. The rebels became desperate, each fighting for control. I wanted no part of the bloodshed. 
I'm glad they were tying up these plot threads. And this was a big one. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's being held prisoner. That's not going to help. Problem solved. What? A usurper took my power, took my throne, took my world. And wait, Jeff, this thief who stole your powers. You know where to find the thief, don't you? Uh, I don't want to know what happens. Dude, teaming up with evil guys never ends well. What about you? What about me? I'm not evil. I had a rough childhood. <laughs> what about Dr. Edema? Hey! <laughs> oh! Hello. What a monster. Ooh. Hello, eat all again. What can you actually do? Oh! It's very up chucky. Oh god, he's been slow. Do not worry, my friends. We are a durable race. My wounds will heal. The sever of my throne, thief of magic. Oh no. Um, okay, we we'll let the old wind bag loose. Charmcaster? But since you're being such a jerk about it, I might as well empty you out now. Ooh. Did she just kill him? Yeah, I'm pretty sure she did. You guys may as well come out where I can see you. Ben Tennyson, his ridiculous cousin, and their thuggish sidekick can't stop me from draining the life force from every living thing in this dimension. I'm so disappointed. I thought she was a I thought she was turned into a good guy last time we saw her. It's time to do some work. <sighs> Yeah, they're on a more equal playing field, I imagine, now, since she's got that rune. Hey! Haven't seen you in a while! Oh, nice. Ooh! Oh no! Oh! did Ooh. that's a high price
Chasing after one thing. Now that thing is gone. And she's just empty. How do you fill that void? It ain't easy. Trust me. Whoa! What's this now? A shameless plug for the Patreon is what it is. Basically, telling you to get on over to my Patreon page if you want to see more content from me. At this point, we've got a pretty good back catalogue of shows that we've reacted to, and the perks of being a paying patron means not just full length and early access to those shows, but also to Patreon exclusive shows and movies that did not make it onto this YouTube channel. Now, of course, the choice of which pledge to make, to which tier to pledge to, is yours, if any at all. I'm not forcing you to spend your money. But the more money you pay, the more perks you get. But every single paying patron will get their name at the end of every single one of my YouTube videos in the credits. Fair warning, I do record weeks and weeks in advance, so don't panic if you don't see your name up there straight away. It will come up eventually. Anyway, I have rambled enough about the Patreon and trying to get you to spend your money, so let's get back to the video. Okay. Ooh, let me rank this for a second. Okay. Is it better than episode 9? I think so. Is it better than episode 3? Uh, yes, I think so. It's better than episode 5? Yes. Better than episode 12? Yes. Better than episode 8? Yes. Better than episode 6. I'm gonna say yes. Better than episode 1. I'm not gonna say it's better than episode 1, but I'll put it above episode 6. So between 1 and 6 is where it goes. And the reason for that is because it tied up a plot thread that we had left over from season 1. I think it was a plot thread that needed to be left needed to be tied up but i'm not sure how i feel about how it was tied up because at the beginning when lucky girl showed up and then we had a you know what for once we had a non-hostile uh, conversation with hex i thought maybe he would show up towards the end and help out making a redemption story for him to come back and, fr and help charmcaster who also, I thought had a somewhat redemption story going on towards the last time we saw her, and then that felt like it was completely undone when she, when she did everything she did in this episode. She she just went back to being the villain. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. But yeah, going back to Legend Domain, which fell into a. A very Game of Thrones, <laughs> a very Game of Thrones vibe was going on when uh, Ignatius was talking about after after Adwaitcher was beaten the last time, it became everyone was fighting over his throne, which is very Game of Thrones. So, and eventually Charmcaster was the one who came out on top. She took she took Adwaitcher's throne. She imprisoned him, and she was slowly draining his power. And she succeeded. She, it was, she actually succeeded. She took Adwaitcher's power. She enslaved all of Ledger Domain. And she actually managed to beat our trio. She, she beat Ben. She beat Kevin. And she beat Anodyte Gwen. Like, she beat Anodyte Gwen. That's insane power. And 
it was only it was un, all of it was undone because her father, the one she's been trying to get back this whole time, uh, refused to come back. Refused to stay here, knowing that his life was bought with such a high price. And I do feel for, like Gwen said at the end, I do feel for Charm Cast because all her life she's been wanting this. And the fact that her dad even said, Ooh, how could you do something so evil? Like, he literally called her evil. In, in, a, in a roundabout way, he called her evil. And somewhat sad as well that we didn't get a scene between uh, the dad and Hex as well. I do wish Hex was in this episode more. And also, I think maybe pacing suffered a little bit in this episode as well when uh, Charmcast, like at the end, we were see uh, Gwen asked Charmcast, what are you going to do now? And she just said she doesn't know. And we have no idea what happened to her. Like, did she stay in Ledger Domain? Did she come back to Earth? Did she go back to Hex? Is she going to prison or anything? We don't know. And I wonder if we're going to have another episode with her before the end, because we are approaching the end now. We've only got six, uh, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We've only got seven more episodes left before the end. And I don't think she's going to be in the last two episodes, because I think that's going to be the whole Dagon and Vilgax stuff. So I do wonder if we're going to give her anything to leave off. Like, the Vreedles, a few episodes ago, that, that finished off in a good way for the Vreedles. It makes sense for them to finish off the way that they did. Uh, Hex, it would have even made sense for him to leave off the way that he did here, when he just he just agreed to help. For Well, he didn't agree to help. He, he allowed her to do what she needed to do, instead of fighting against Gwen. He allowed her to do what she needed to do and just left, so... That that would make sense if we never see him again. Like I said, we we we're on this little trend, I think, of finishing off plot threads that needed to be finished off. Because the whole the whole Forever Night stuff, that's been a plot thread that is being tied up now. The Vilgax stuff is also being tied up now. The the Charmcaster stuff here now is being tied up with Ledger Domain. Are there any other lingering plot threads l lurking about that we need to that we need to tie up? I'm guessing that these last few episodes are going to try and do that because I know we're approaching the end of this continuity of Ben 10, and that makes me sad. So I wonder if we're going to actually tie up these things because the Nano Mac Queen she still needs to be dealt with. Yeah, and also we got a uh, we finally got to see what Eetle can do because in the last time the last time he showed up, he literally turned into Eetle and then he got backhanded by Vilgax and then he was knocked out. So we didn't get to see what he did. His power is very upchuck like. He eats something then he fires a laser beam out of his out of the horn in his head. So it's very upchuck like. So yeah. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So, yeah, questions, questions leaving off. Uh, what's happening with Charmcaster? Will we see her again? What other plot threads are going to be tied up before the end of this show? Yeah, all interesting. So, that's all we've got. I'm just going to promote the Throne account. Throne account link is in the description along with my socials and. If you want to go on there and donate money towards something that will be in the backdrop of this video or perhaps in, improve the production side towards this channel, I will be very happy if you did so. Not, not a demand though. So, yeah, that's all we've got for this episode of Ben Tennell's Mailing. Until next time, we are over and out. Bye!